one of the persons responsible for that is their key power forward, who really knows how to clunk them. And I speak of Levi Casbolt, who joins us tonight on Sports Day. Levi, thank you very much for your time. No worries, guys. Thanks for having me. Last weekend, four goals, two, uh, three games ago, two games ago, another four goals. Your form at the moment is starting to excite people and take a lot of notice. Inner belief is a great thing. Did you did you sense something like this was was about to come? Um, yeah, I'd had some. Um, I'd been looking for a bit of consistency all year, and I felt that I'd been playing some good footy without sort of um, dominating or getting a lot of scoreboard pressure. So um, in the last month or so, I've been able to kick a few goals and um, take a few big grabs, which is nice. How does that go with your confidence as well? Because, I mean, even your kicking, which has been something that you've had to work on for a period of time, even that seems to have improved as your confidence has risen. Yeah, definitely a confidence thing. Um, it was nice to get the first one out of the goal square on the weekend, which um, helps you get off to a good start. But, yeah, when you're, um, when you're getting a bit of the ball, take, I guess the more shots you get in game day, the better you're going to get at it. So um, to be able to get a few shots and... That's the best kind of practice, so it's um, starting to come together. Which is uh, I'd like to just stay with your own game before we get on to the, uh, t- the team stuff. I go back, say, 12 months ago, maybe even nearly 18 months ago, I uh, can recall watching you quite a few times at VFL level, and you were playing football at VFL level the same now as what you're playing at AFL level. How difficult was it to you know, get that jump and get the continuity of in, in your football and get the confidence to, you know, to take that VFL game up to the AFL? Uh, yeah, it's um, been a long process. So I, obviously, I'm a um, pretty big guy, so it's more just that belief that um, I can use my size to uh, match it with the guys at AFL level, but then also a bit of my um, athleticism as well to get up and take some pack marks, which um, was the same coming from TAC Cup to VFL. It took me a while to... Um, get from that level and then, yeah, another step up to AFL. So it's been a um, bit of a process of more the mental side, working with some of the coaches and that, that I can actually do it. Um, then, yeah, the actual, yeah, and then, yeah, the doing it sort of comes together. Sure. I just, when you're having a bit of kick-to-kick in the, the schoolyard at lunchtime, was there any one or two kids at school you thought to yourself, I'll have a bit of fun and just jump on their shoulders for a bit of practice? Uh, no, no, not really. I just... Um, <laughs> I guess tended to be. I was always pretty big, so I was always pretty good at kick to kick. But yeah, yeah, I didn't tend to target anyone. No, no, I'm not saying you target anyone, but you just chuckled then, and you went back to your childhood thinking to yourself, <laughs> yeah, there might have been one or two that I liked to have taken a mark over. Uh, just, just as that that goes, I, yeah, we look at you now, and you're almost the perfect big specimen for a big forward. You know, uh, 200 centimetres, 100k. It's it's just a really big, imposing presence. Did you actually shoot up in your teens, or were you always a sort of a big kid, uh, basically from the get-go when you commenced adolescence? Yeah, I know. I've always been pretty big. I was, I was when I was born. I was five weeks premier and nine pounds. So, um, oh, we. right from the get-go, I've been pretty big. Mother would have been pleased that it was five weeks early than now. <laughs> yeah, I'd say so. Uh, Levi, just the team, if we took out the game against, and and we didn't look at sort of the wins, losses, but we just looked at performance and we took out one game, which would be the GWS game, probably over a six week period, you've played against some really good sides, taken it up to them. The form, even though you haven't got points on the board, has been pretty good. Yeah, definitely. Since the Brisbane game where uh, we got a bit of a touch up up there, we sort of switched our mindset really to defence and since then we think we've had some really good results without getting the four points um, so for on the weekend to be able to keep the team to a low score as well as kicking a few goals ourselves we we're really happy to get that result It was clearly uh, you know, a really strong victory and one that would have been very very pleasing, you had some great players and you had some players in form, one guy I want to uh, ask you about is Andreas Everett he seems like he's been mm. a magnificent pick up to, uh, to come to your footy club, done some great jobs but uh, you know, he's a real athlete in his own right Yeah it's been great having Andreas come across, he's um very versatile for us. He goes down back, um, plays down forward. He's played on the wing. Uh, got a good endurance base as well, so he's been able to run with some of the opposition's key players and shut down them. But because of his ball-winning ability, he's been able to run off them and 
um, create a bit of havoc, havoc up forward, which has been really good for us. Player that fascinates us, even though he's closer to 30, is Jared Waite and Plough. The best of Jared Waite really is something to behold. He's Absolutely. a complete match winner, but he would appear to be in limbo at the moment. Um, where where do you see his role at Carlton, say, for, for the remainder of the year? Oh, I definitely still think he can play a role in the side. He's, yeah, as you said, he's a um, proven match winner, and his best is scintillating. So he, um, he's he been really good around the club. He's still very positive. He's working hard at um, a few of the things that the coaches want him just to clean up in his game just so that we can yeah have his best out there and he's, um, a bit of his defensive side can um, be really useful for us up forward as well. Lockie Henderson, when interviewed uh, during the week, said two things. One, he believes you've got the best hands in the game. Wayne Carey shares that view as well. So that's high praise from teammate and a legend. And the second thing that Lockie Henderson revealed is, is he's had the stare from Mick. Rather than the, the bail out, you know, the big words, he's had the stare. So first things first, what's it like when someone like Carey says, reckons you have the best hands in the game? And two, have you had the Michael Malthouse stare? Um, yeah, I think everybody's had the Michael Malthouse stare. <laughs> is, it, is it a good stare? Uh no, 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 it's not um, not the best when you walk into the rooms and he almost doesn't have words to say to you. He just but you know he's, at you. And... He, you know he's looking at you? <laughs> yeah, yeah, you just know. You just <laughs> try and avoid eye contact, really. Yeah, and then, again, it's, it's only just talking about hands in the game at the moment. When Wayne Carey says something like that and you've got the backup of Lockie Henderson, who, who's just a terrific footballer, again, it's all about the confidence and game continuity, as Plough points out, but do you... Do you feel good at it? Have you, have you sort of, you know, have you got a sea ball, get ball, a bit like uh, Jeremy Howe of Melbourne? Once you decide to go, there's no pulling out? Yeah, yeah, pretty much. I, I can't quite jump as high as um, Howe, but um, I'm a bit taller, so I guess I don't have to. But no, yeah, true. I just sea ball, get ball. Um, that's just the way I've played footy my whole life, so. Good board. Levi, if you uh, if you just had to sit down and sort of in a couple of sentences, what would be the objectives of the footy club in the run home? Um, we, a uh, few sentences, we would uh, like to keep continuing with our form, um, obviously aside from the GWS game, but um, really keep taking steps forward in um, the defensive side of our game. Um, and um, like we obviously it's a tough run um, to try and make finals, but we um, want to keep winning games and give ourselves the best chance to make finals or leading into next year, whichever eventuates. Thank you very much for your time, Levi. Uh, you you are exciting a lot of people. May you have many many years to come because uh, there's something really good happening with you at the moment. Thanks for having a chat with us tonight on Sports Day. No worries, guys. Thanks Good on you. Me. Levi Casbolt from the Carlton Football Club. Club. Speaking of which, it's not too late to become a Blues member for 2014. There are three game memberships, including general admission seating for three home games. More information, Carlton 2014 memberships. Call 1300 Carlton. That's easy, player. Or visit the Carlton Football Club website or go to afl.com.au. And uh, that is the number, or that is the website to go to and support your beloved Blues. Call 1300 Carlton for a three-game membership.